So you're at home, and your child has work to do. Now, I don't assign homework, so that means if your child has work to do, your child has been choosing not to work in class. So I think it is very appropriate for students who are not working in class to have to make up their missing work at home. Um, it's a natural consequence, and it makes sense. So you need a device or computer that can go on the internet. Go to educatoral.com. You get this website here. If they go into this World of Science Craft 3D Game Lab link, they just have to log into their account. I'm going to log into my fictitious student. Um, typically, the gamer tag is first name, last initial, and the password should be one that your child chose. If they forget, um, they can have me reset it for them. Just email me and I can do that so your child can access this at home. Um, I've already mentioned this on, on a different video, but just wanted to show that if you click on your child's name, it shows how much points, how many experience points your child has. Um, and if you scroll down, you can see the different uh, badges they've gotten for work completed. Those are what in uh, gaming language are called achievements to show what you've done. This shows the quest your child is working on, um, and the red ones are ones that were submitted and got uh, some feedback from me. It, they, they need to read my feedback. This shows all the quests that your child has um, completed. Now this is an 8th grade one, so 6th grade would look very similar, but the quests, which are assignments, are very different. So as a parent, you can look over your child's shoulder, uh, child's shoulder and see what they're doing. If you look under available, these are the ones that uh, they can choose to work on. The ones in progress are the ones that they started and need to finish. But I want to go over the ones that need attention. Because if something needs attention, it's got feedback from me like this. So this child submitted a blog, um, and this is what I wrote. You embedded a video into your blog, but you didn't show that you understood the nitrogen cycle. The assignment asks that you create a bubble us image and embed it in your blog to show how you understand the steps of the nitrogen cycle. So if your child partly completes an assignment and just submits it, I can give them feedback like this. That way you don't have to know how to do it. Your child just needs to get started and submit, submit, submit. Let me do the work by giving them feedback. Feedback is how they'll know if they're on the right track and what they need to do. So anytime it says needs attention, I will put on there exactly what they need to do. So for this one, here's some questions that need to be answered to complete this assignment. That's what I want them to learn from this assignment on invasive species. Um, any assignment that says comments, you can look at and you can see what feedback I gave your child. Under completed, anything that says comments, those are ones that I responded to. And, and that's how I can communicate with each student one-on-one, -on -one, even when I don't have time to help them in class. Uh, this is a fantastic resource to help every child in my class succeed because I can give each child individual feedback as well as stand up in front of the class, give feedback to everybody, and teach. Um, so that's how, as a parent, you can use this resource um, along with my weekly and daily quests webpage, which shows what we're doing, when the deadlines are, and, and what we've done. You can see every week of the year is here, every single week so far this year. And I update this weekly so you can see what's coming up. And I send that out on my emailing list, which uh, some of you might be getting this right now. And there you go.